Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to show you the exact trading strategy that I use to pass my funding challenge and gain access to a $100,000 trading account. For everyone wondering, the prop firm that I was using was from a broker called SageFX.com. They have funding options from $25,000 all the way up to $200,000. Let's hop over to TradingView because I'm going to show you the exact strategy. I don't want to say I developed it because at the end of the day, I'm pretty certain someone out there has done this and maybe it's been done a million times and I had no idea. When I say I came up with the strategy, what I mean is I didn't reach out to anyone for help. I didn't do any research. I just came up with the idea. I applied it and it just miraculously works. And uh, the, the last thing you want to do is follow every single trade the strategy shows you and you're going to see why. The whole point of this is to use it as a confirmation tool, just like anything else you learn in trading. It's a confirmation tool for your trading. It's not designed to be followed uh, for every single trade. Uh, also, I turned this strategy into an indicator uh, for TradingView and I gave it away for free to the public. So if you don't already see it on the public community for TradingView, I'm probably going to, because TradingView, they have this thing where they have a lot of rules for giving away your content for free. I've never faced more problems trying to give away something for free than I have with TradingView. Like I, I tried publishing it for free to the community, our creation we built from scratch. I'm trying to give this away and they keep saying, oh, your description isn't descriptive enough. And I'm, I'm laughing because my description had probably more than a thousand words describing how it worked. Oh, it's not descriptive. Yet I find other people's scripts that have literally 10 words, not that descriptive. And it's allowed to be on the public community. Uh, they say, like, what was the other one? I don't know. They just kept denying me for little things that just made no sense whatsoever. Uh, but anyway, so I'm just going to either keep it private, but allow anyone to sign up and use it. I'll figure that out or it'll be on the community. But either way, whichever one I decide to do, I'm going to have it in the description below this YouTube video, the final say, whether it's private or public, I'll have it linked down below. Either way, it's gonna be free for everyone, so don't worry about not being able to use it. Okay, now with that being said, let's hop over to TradingView and let me show you the strategy and then let me show you the indicator that I built for the strategy. Awesome, so here we are on TradingView. So all we are doing is we are looking at two times. So we are looking at, and this can, these can be any times you want, okay? This is uh, the, the basis for how the indicator is built, which I'm gonna show you. I was going based on 20, 0, 0, and 0, 03, 0, 0, and this is for NASDAQ. So just type in NAS100 like this, and just press enter on your keyboard. And it's gonna take you to the FX chart. So that's the one that I'm using. You can technically use any other one, but I am personally using the FX chart. So if you wanna use the same one that I'm using, just type in NAS100 and press enter on your keyboard. So I'm looking at the times 20 and three. And what we're doing is we're looking at the volumes located at those times, the closed volumes. So again, this volume indicator, you go up here and you just type in volume. And it's this one right here. It's under net volume, it's just volume. That's all we're doing. And so what we are doing is we are looking at the closed volume at those times. You don't have to know what the specific number is. If you really want to, you can look at the indicator up here and it says, uh, you see how the number is always changing every time I move my mouse. It says 8,000, 5,000, 4,000, 7,700. You get my point. Uh, but you can tell the difference just by looking at it visually. So here, the volume at the closed candle 20 is lower than the volume at the closed candle of three. So here it is, you ready? Let me, let me write this out, this way there's no confusion. It's right here, volume one is lower than volume two goes bearish, is that true? Yes, well at here at 20, as you can see, is technically lower than this uh, green spike, this one right here at three. So in this case we're bearish. So look at the one at three, here it is, it's this uh, green bullish candle, this bullish engulfing candle. A lot of people are buying right here because of that bullish engulfing candle, but because of this method, we're looking for sell entries and today it ended up tanking. So if you really wanna see, here's how much I made today uh, trading based off this method. I made about $4,430 and SageFX, thankfully they paid out me today. Again, because on the website they say they pay uh, every Monday at 12 server time. That is how simple it is. So you don't have to use these two specific times. You can use whatever times you want. And that is where the strategy file came in handy because after an entire month, pretty much, of doing my funding challenge for phase one and phase two, 
uh, the whole time I was doing it based on that exact method that I just showed you. Also, I was not getting into every single trade blindly. I was only getting into trades that I agreed with. So again, use it as a confirmation. Don't just blindly follow. But let's assume you did blindly follow. Uh, here is what would have happened based on these specific settings that I'm about to show you. So the settings that I just showed you on the chart, over the course of 10 years, they're trash. Like you will not make money at all over the course of 10 years, so don't even bother. But these settings right here that I'm about to show you have a 61% accuracy. Uh, the drawdown was 22%, not even. The, their definition of drawdown is highest peak to lowest low based on account performance uh, because every single trade has a fixed stop loss and a fixed take profit based on this back test of $100, $100 in price movement. Uh, within the indicator, you have the ability to change it to percentage, price, or level. Uh, so you can take profit at the next level. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you what a level is. We added a setting so you can decide if you want to only get into trades at quarter levels, half levels, whole levels. Uh, so what is rounding value? Rounding value is what you determine to be whole levels. So this is so if you're changing it from an indice to a Forex pair, to a commodity, to a crypto, you can define what is a whole level. So in this case, for USDJPY, you wanna set it to 10. Uh, I don't know why I held up five, to 10. Uh, because at every $10 movement in price on USDJPY, that is a 1,000 pip move. So for Forex pairs, you want whole levels to be 1,000 pip moves. So that is what rounding value is. It helps you define what a whole level is. And then it's automatically going to plot your half levels on your quarter levels. So quarter levels are 250 pip movements, half levels are 500 pip movements, really simple. But you don't have to go based on that, uh, that definition. You can go based on whatever methodology you want. Maybe you want it to be every 100 pips or every, you know, 500 pips, whatever you want it to be. Uh, this is how I've been doing it for NASDAQ. I set it to 1000. These levels, this is meaningless. These will not work unless you have a price offset. So what does that mean? Price offset will will make it so it will only display trades at the selected levels if it's within X price or lower. So if you set this to 100, this means it's only going to display trades within $100 in price or less of quarter levels, half levels, and whole levels. If you disable whole and half and you only have quarter, this means it will only display levels around quarter levels within $100 of that level. That's it, that's how simple it is. Uh, so again, if you have this set to zero, all of these are turned off by default. They don't mean anything. Oh, now let me explain this here. So we have four boxes. The only two boxes you really need to pay attention to are the boxes on the left. The two times I mentioned, you can choose any times. It can be any time you can think of. You don't have to go based on the strategy I just showed you, but choose any times. Every single time, you have to make it one minute higher than the time on the left. So in this case, we set it to 931 and then 1201 because this one is 9.30 and this one's 12. So whatever numbers you have here, you always have to set the one over here one minute higher. That's it, just really simple. Uh, the moving average filter, it's pretty self-explanatory. It filters out trades based on moving average. And then prior day's range, we have it set so uh, you can only display trades within uh, the inside range, within the outside, or none. So let me show you what happens when I change this to none. So pay attention to the performance here. The net profit goes up, but the uh, win percentage goes down. So let me show you what happens. We're going to change this to none. I have back test, uh, deep back test beta. Thank you, TradingView. Love you. So here it went from like a 800, 900% uh, net profit over the course of 10 years down, uh, sorry, up to 1200, almost 1300%. And the win rate went down by roughly one or 2%. So not that big of a difference. You know, we got more trades with a higher profit which is impressive because usually the more trades you do, the less profit and you get my point. Not only did we get more trades, but we had a higher profit, but the win rate went down by one or 2%. Not that big of a deal if you ask me and the drawdown stayed the same. That is it. That is the strategy that I've been using this entire time uh, for the last month, pretty much not only to pass my funding account, but to uh, make money. Like I've, I'm just killing it with this. Again, I'm not following every single trade. I am uh, using it as confirmation to the way I trade based on my eight years of experience. But I will say this has been a game changer for me. It's something so simple yet, you know, it's something so simple and basic. It changed the way that I look at the chart. You know, every year I have epiphany moments, epiphany moments, and 
I am always a student. I always consider myself a student in the market. I don't care how much money I make. I'm always learning. I'm always looking at things and trying out new strategies. The funny thing was, I didn't try out the strategy on a demo, on a demo account before paying for the funded account. I paid for the funded account just to try the strategy that I came up with. And it was just really funny to see how it worked. But uh, yeah, that's it. And yeah, SageFX, they've been pretty good to me. I've been receiving my payout. Uh, it's my first payout, so it's been good so far. And I'll keep you updated. If you want to keep up to date on everything I'm doing in my trading, uh, just check out my Instagram page. It's linked down below. I only have one Instagram page. Don't get scammed, okay? I only have one Instagram page. I do not message you asking for money. I don't have employees asking you for money. I don't reach out asking you for money. If you see that, it's a scam. Report the page. Uh, also, I have a Telegram channel. It's just Simple Signals app. That's the username. And I'll leave both of those links down below. So I post on my Telegram channel pretty much every day now with updates on my business and what I'm doing or just trading or life, whatever. So follow me on that Telegram page as well. Check the description down below for information about how you can get this indicator for free. Uh, because, yeah, it'll be for free. So that's it. Bye-bye.